Hey Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper and I'm coming to you live for one more week from Schravezande, the Netherlands. Um, next week, Saturday, I fly home and then I go into quarantine for 14 days. So the squirrel is going to get active uh, catching up on uh, stamping and creating. I have lots of products waiting for me at home. Anyway, today I wanted to share with you this fun stamp set. It's called Arrange a Wreath and you can see just looking at it that it has a lot of different themes. It has Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, Easter, Christmas, and then best wishes is for, for anything. Um, and then it comes with some great dies too. So let me show you the dies and then we'll get stamping. So they're called wreath builder dies. There's um, these, two, these two big wreaths, oops, like so, this one, and then a detailed one. And I have to say, I just ran them through the big shot. I don't have the new machine yet, but the, the dies are awesome. They pop right out, no problem. Um, I'm gonna show you, I cut a few out. Well, yeah, I probably did that way too fast, but that's okay. I'm going to show you what I cut out so far. I have this one. I did them all in metallics. And, and then this one. And then this reminds me of a locket. So you could pop out the letters, but I kind of like them in there, just like that. So there's a choice. Um, here is a flower. Now, when I look at that, I think poinsettia, but then let me show you the catalog. It's in the annual catalog. And if you look at the yellow flowers on the, on the thanks wreath, and it's more like a sunflower when they've done the stamp. See, there's a stamp right here by my thumb. If you stamp that and cut it out, it goes in the center of that flower, and then it's not a poinsettia flower anymore. So that's really cool, right? So it's nice to see the versatility of the stamp set. Now, this Easter card might not appeal to you at all if you don't like um, Easter eggs or if you don't like pastel colors, but um, you can totally switch it up by changing the color scheme or not doing an Easter card. When I see the pears, I think of Christmas, um, about the pears in a pear tree, the 12 days of Christmas, something like that. Who's thinking Christmas now on a summer day anyway? Okay, so here are the pears cut out, and the, the stuff that I've used is called... Um, brushed metallic paper and it's new and I'll show it to you in a minute as soon as I have all this stuff off there's a cute little flower and a little one and you could layer them too so I haven't done that because I'm doing the minimum of work I also have the patio door open and it's windy so if these things go flying you'll know why so those are just some of the pieces that I've cut out and now here are the three brushed metallics you can see um, this is kind of like a goldy color copper and I don't know that's not even really yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about. You can see the three colors. They're just beautiful. And there's a slight brushed feeling to them. I really like it a lot. So now I just want to show you what these look like stamped. I have a piece of white cardstock and I want to show you this card. It was a Happy Mail in Holland card that I got from Ria de Neuer. Okay, and she is from Arnhemuyden in Zeeland. I wish I could have gone to see your city, Ria, but I didn't have time so there's only so much it's amazing how much time flies so this is her card and I love it I love how if you look underneath she stamped the wreath underneath and then layered so we're gonna I'm gonna show you that technique so let's open it up the stamp set comes like this with a thin piece of plastic that you just pull off and then save it in there so it doesn't blow away on you okay and then we have these photopolymer stamps and you peel them off the background and this one's a pretty big one. Lay it down on your surface and then pick it up with the block. Now my block isn't quite big enough, but this is the biggest one I have down here. So I'm gonna, it's probably not going to stamp perfectly because there's little pieces sticking out, but that just goes to show you the importance of having the right size block. I have a ink pad, early espresso, and you just flip it up, push it in, and it's ready to go. And then we're just tap, tap, tapping. You don't have to press hard. Like my little granddaughter Anna says, tap, tap, tap. And then a five second press on your paper. So down it goes. And then one, two, three, four, five. And you can see there's a little piece sticking out. It's probably, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna push it with my hand. It's always a way. Look how nice that is. So if you were making a card, then you could layer 
see how nice this goes oops you're stuck here we go see how it just sticks out a little bit gives you some depth so you've got a nice fall wreath then you could put your bow on see how nice that is i love the monochromatic look and then what ria did was she add a fine gold thread underneath i don't have any of that with me but isn't that pretty but you can switch up your wreath see you can put love on it isn't that so nice um you could do the little pairs you could put pairs all around see i'm i'm just loving the simplicity of that and when I, I to be totally honest though when i saw this stamp set and i looked at it i thought oh i don't need that but now when i see how pretty that wreath is and how quickly and easily it cut out i'm really liking it okay let's see what the other things look like um this one is a little box and here's my block from last week. I didn't even clean it off. So I'm just going to see if I can do that. See, it's a mess. You can see that my priorities have not been stamping. What I'm, I have another ink pad here, and it's called Shaded Spruce. So we'll use that one. But what we're going to do is I'm going to stamp off. I'll show you. I just have a scrap of paper here from a list. So here it is full strength. I don't want it that dark because then you won't see my writing on it. I want to go light. So here we go. Now it's a nice light green. And then, let me just peel this off. Our words can go on there. Oh, here I'm opening up my stamp set. I forgot that it wasn't even in there. Here we are. Yeah. All right, let's do Merry Christmas on this one. We'll ink it up in the early espresso. Oh, no, that's not early espresso. You know, when ink pads are open, they all look the same. See, you can't tell the difference between that's early espresso and this is green. But do you see how this ink pad has a little piece of brown in there? You can find that on the bottom of your ink pad. See, we pull that off, get rid of it. And then this little guy comes off and it is meant to go in the trough here. It's a bit tricky and so sometimes I get lazy and I don't do it. But it really, yeah, it just takes a little finagling. There. Not bad. Now I can tell that that's green and I won't mess up. Okay. I'll put it away so I don't. There. So now I have Merry Christmas in the espresso. See how nice that looks? So we'll do it just plain as well. So you can see all the, the sayings in this stamp set. When you have a lot of different sayings in a stamp set, it really makes it a good one for your first set because you can do a lot of different occasions. And that's good. Apparently, we have a new deal coming out on the starter kit September 1st. So if this hobby is new to you, you might want to get the starter kit because you pay no tax, no shipping, and you get to pick out $135 worth of stuff. No, $165. And you pay only $135, plus you're getting a whole bonus, oh, I think it's eight packs of cardstock and two stamp sets and ideas to make cards so that you're all set to go with pre-cut card pieces, I believe, if I understood it correctly. I just listened to that now, right before doing this video, so I'm hoping I got my facts right. But I will talk more about that when I get all the information. I'm a big believer in the starter kit. Um, because I always like you to save money and if you have a hobby you might as well get the best deal possible right so ask me if you need any more details so here's the pairs and there's a die that goes with it that cuts them both out at the same time which is quite helpful and here they are let's do it lighter isn't that pretty so if you wanted your pairs stamped and cut there's also hearts that do the same thing I'm just sticking with the same color because it's easy. So here we have the hearts. So you can see how pretty that is. They would be great for coffee cups too. I don't know why that. Then we have the partridge in a pear tree or the lovebird, whatever you want to call it. When we were in Cologne, did I tell I told the story yesterday of the um, parrots. The parrots escaped from the zoo and now there is a ton of parrots in Cologne. They are strong birds and they can survive the winter and they have procreated and now there are as many parrots as there are um, 
pigeons. You know how cities are known for their pigeons. Well, Cologne is known for its parrots. I saw one in a tree and I thought, my goodness, that looks like a parrot. Someone's pet must have escaped. Well, it was kind of neat to hear the story. So here's that center for if you want to make that flower a sunflower. Sometimes there's stamps that are included that we don't have any idea what we should do with them. So then you have to play and you find out. Um, that's why I'm always thankful for other demonstrators who share what they do as well because we learn from each other. So here's the eggs. I'm really liking the brown theme. Okay, I've stamped them all. So now you can see how many stamps are in this set and then the different dies. So I think it's a winner. And I really love the way the dies, you can see how the dies cut and emboss at the same time. And yeah, and this is just done with the metallic paper and brown and it's already beautiful so yeah that's it that's it for today um i should show you a few more happy mail cards that came in this one i haven't gotten mail in the last three days but that's kind of good because i have a lot of blogging to do yet so anyhow let me flip the camera for a second close your eyes and here we go here i am look at that messy hair I was, uh, yeah, the wind was blowing through the window upstairs in my stamp room. And I'm happy to say, though, that the weather has just cooled right down. So it's like 23 degrees here. Um, as soon as this video is over, I am going to the market. It is market day in Sravazonda. And there's flower stalls and there's a cheese guy. Um, I think there's two cheese guys. Um, there's a nut seller. There's um, someone who does crafty stuff. Um, I forget what it's called. But anyway, they do a lot of um, paper toll here, too. Um, it wasn't anything that attracted me. Um, but that's okay. There's someone who sells socks. There's there's um, a butcher. There's a fish guy. The fish is amazing. Um, yeah, bread. There's a baker. So, yeah, it's just a lot of fun going to the market. I'm going to go to, there's a secondhand store that I want to go to, and there's a really cool toy store that they sell the best animals for the grandkids. So it's time for me to buy some presents since I only have a good week left. So anyway, um, thank you for joining me today. Um, it wasn't a whole lot of stamping and you didn't get a finished card, but that's okay. That's about to change when I go home. But uh, in the meantime, I hope you all have a super weekend. Um, enjoy each other's company and enjoy the nice weather. And uh, yeah, stay hopeful. We're hoping this whole COVID thing changes. It's quite depressing. Gerard cannot come to Canada. Oliver's getting married in September, and we were really hoping that Gerard could come and be there for the wedding. But um, yeah, the wedding itself is changing as well. And so we're just waiting to hear the final details. But there will be a wedding, so that is good. But it is hard when you can't see your loved ones and you can't travel. So I feel very blessed that I could be in Holland and spend this time here. Um, and then I could see Germany. I'm like, I'm loving all the hearts and the, and the, um, the thumbs up. That's really nice. So Linda, I'm in Holland right now, but only for another nine days. Um, Blumenland Zess, 2691JC, Schravezonde, the Netherlands. That is my current address, but I will soon be heading back to 81 Delaware in Chatham, Ontario. So yeah, I, I get the best of both worlds. So anyway, enough ramblings on for me. Oh, I wanted to share something with you. So this morning I did a lot of baking because um, I thought it would be nice for Gerard to have some yummy things in his freezer when I'm gone. And today wasn't hot, so it was time to do some baking. So I baked a banana bread and a carrot cake and a key lime pie. And in my baking endeavors, I discovered a few things. First of all, you cannot buy crushed pineapple in the grocery store. It only comes in slices and in, and in chunks. Um, and what they consider chunks are, are what we consider tidbits. So I had to chop up my pineapple tidbits. Um, cinnamon is meant for sprinkling here. You have to take the whole lid off in order to scoop it out with a measuring scoop. Um, icing sugar, same thing. Icing sugar is meant to sprinkle on your pancakes. It is not meant to use to make icing. Um, those are all North American concepts, I think. I mean, I think people do do it there, but it's not the norm. Interesting, isn't it? The cultural differences. I tasted the cream cheese here and I found it more bland than our cream cheese. So, yeah, interesting differences um, 
in the kitchen. And KitchenAid mixers are so expensive here. So, so far I'm making do with a little hand mixer. So, yeah. Anyway, Tales from Holland. And toothpaste. Toothpaste only comes in 75 mils. Now, that's the tiniest size that we have, unless it's a travel size. But um, I, I came to find out that that is just, there's one size of toothpaste here in Holland. So, interesting, right? All right. Anyway, enough ramblings, but it's always fun to hear what things are like in another, um, in another country. So, Roz, I'm not back in Canada yet. I just did a live video here from Holland. Apparently the internet is better today and I'm not cutting out, so that's good. Oh, that's cool. So, Danielle from Eiselstein. Nice. Yeah, Dutch markets are wonderful. I will miss them very much. Okay, thanks for joining me, everyone. I appreciate it. If you want to share my video, I would love that. And uh, I will pick a winner to get a free PDF. Okay? All right. Be sure to check out my blog post today, too. I've got pictures from Cologne on there. So, all right. Bye.